Making a hyper pop song from start to finish. Let's go. I have a lot of caffeine in my system, so we're doing something fast. Da, da, da. Da, da, do, do, do. Pull in some stuff from Splice. You don't have to reinvent the wheel here. I think I want to add in like a more chord sounding instrument. Maybe I'll just go with another pluck. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Dun, dee, dun. It could use that cool reverse reverb sweep in there. This is a constant struggle to add in the spice. I really liked this snare sound. Gonna paste it a bunch. Just added in a new synth. I'm using this little trance preset and then a big ping pong delay. Dragged in like a vocal sample from Splice. I'm gonna mess around till I get something more glitchy. I need a glitchy layer in here. Yeah. I think the snare needs to be a bit more tonal. Boom, boom, boom. I'm starting to work on the B section of the song and I'm thinking about a realistic sounding pluck sound. And I think I have one of those in here, mallet. So now is going to be the tough part, at least for me, and that's going to be writing the lyrics. Prepare to be written. Back at it. So I've got the verse part written. One thing that helped was when I was stuck and I had an idea of what I wanted to say, but nothing was coming out. I just wrote and wrote and wrote, not trying to rhyme anything, but just writing what I was feeling. From there, I took a little highlighter and I just highlighted the stuff that would sound cool and gave myself a word bank to work off of. And it made the writing the rest of this pretty easy. What's up? It's a new day. This is a bit of a tangent, but I'm going there. So I have this hypothesis about making music, but also about life in general. It's been brewing in my head for a while. And it is this, that life is like a naked wrestling match. Imagine like the Olympics, when it was first held, it was naked wrestling. I think being successful is about being vulnerable, like being your true self, even though it is scary and it feels like you're exposing yourself. Basically the same feeling when you're, you're naked, the wrestling match. So you really do have to put in the work, but if you don't even like strip down for it, then you're disqualified right away. With that in mind, this is how it relates. I'm actually gonna say what this is about because I feel like that's part of the being vulnerable aspect of this. But I also feel like if I explain what this is about, it's going to bring value to you. So first line, never thought I'd fall again. I've basically tried making music full time several times in my life. And that's where I say fall again. In short, I'm OK right now, but I'm in a position where I really need to make this music thing work, which is probably why you're seeing this video like a couple days after the last one I posted. Turns out can't play pretend. I kind of imagine that this wouldn't happen again. Blindfold and kick in the head. Uh, just like when something takes you off guard and you fall on your face, falling somewhere, falling somewhere. This part right here, I wanted it to be creative in the way where it's like imagery in your head, like thinking of a certain thing, comparing hard work to sleep. You know, after this is all over, if I wake up from it and it's successful, then what is life going to be like? If I wake up in a strange place, I didn't want to just say like, get me out of here. I want to go be successful or something. If I wake up in a place I don't recognize, and then I look up and I'm like, somewhere new because of all the hard work and I see you stitches in my face. So the and I see you part is 
It's my girlfriend. The stitches in my face is referring back to fall again in the head. It was like fixed. And then it was all worth it every hour and minute. If I wake up and I'm successful, then it was all worth it, even though we didn't get to spend time together. So that's where I'm going with the chorus. I wanted something that would loop because I think those are kind of cool and I wanted to do that. In a repeated chorus, this would be this. And I wanted some mirror language. So you'll hold on to me and I'll hold on to you. Close my eyes and rest in peace. Extending the metaphor of sleep with hard work, it's saying, I know that I can finally rest or work hard in peace, knowing that we've got each other, we're solid, and the working hard like isn't going to come between us. Last night, I read the lyrics to my girlfriend. I really recommend doing this. Read your lyrics to someone, or at least like look in the mirror and read your lyrics. I took a songwriting class in college, and that was one of the recommended things by my teacher. He's like, you got to keep yourself from saying some really cringy stuff. Imagine yourself looking someone in the eyes and reading your lyrics. I should share what the song sounds like right now in this stage. From the last time I recorded, I added a few things to the song. First is harmonies. I took the same vocal and I duplicated it. And then all I did was I changed the MIDI on it. It doesn't really sound good on its own, but I don't think it's supposed to because it's never going to be on its own. This is what it sounds like with the melody. Another thing I added was a rave lead. It is the lead noise FM from my preset pack. Another thing in here is the new bass. This is my Finn Square preset, but I changed it a bunch because it wasn't exactly as thick as I wanted. I added some compression and actually made it more narrow. But what I mean by thick is like deep, not wide. Distortion, adding a little bit of bit crush on it. And then the OTT multiband compression. Another cool thing that I put in was this Virtual Riot fill. There's a splice pack with a bunch of awesome fills and drum sounds in there. I pulled in a reference track. I kind of mapped out what I wanted to borrow from that. It is a verse instrumental, a double chorus, a verse, a single chorus, a verse, a bridge, and then a freaking quad chorus, baby. But that does mean I need to write another verse and bridge section. I'll go figure that stuff out right now. I just finished writing verse two. What I've got going on here is another extended metaphor. The clouds being the dream, making music full time, rain coming down, the bad things in life. It feels different. It's a sign the clouds aren't distant. Touching the sky, the sky meaning the cloud, meaning the dream, it's within grasp. Late every night just meaning like, you know, working, work. It's closer than ever, won't miss it. Blurry eyes and stars in my vision. So you got to earth, and then the clouds, then the stars. But once you get to the clouds, the stars are your vision. You never stop improving. 200,000 and going the distance. The moon is a little more than 200,000 miles from Earth. I just wanted to put some something cool in there, a little nugget. Every day, a new height. This is my home in the sky. So the dream is now the home. Closer than ever, won't miss it. I recorded some vocals for it. And why don't I play that for you right now? First thing I'm going to go over is the synths in there. The next part in there is this drum loop. And then I pitched up that lead I was using before. 
and then just some simple effects stuff, a reverse drum hit, a cashmere sweep, and then I recorded this guitar part. I just added guitar rig on that, made this bass my main bass. Really wanted the energy to keep going. Did a combination of long and short notes and that really helped. I added some top layers on there with the drums. So this is without. And then with. And then the final thing is this little end lead. This preset the lead reverb saw and then put a pump on it. The pump. A uh, side chain. This section right here is just copying MIDI that I used for this other pluck. Felt like it sounded nice. All right, that's pretty much it for this song. I'm gonna go ahead and play it in a second. If you liked the video, make sure to smash like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.